Watch this before getting Syllabi AI. Today I'm gonna to give my honest review on this tool. I'm a pretty hard critic because I own a media company and get over a million views every single month like averaging out. But enough rambling, let's get into this tool. So Syllabi AI, right? The reason I found this tool was because everyone's talking about it for faceless videos. And I'm like, hey, AI usually isn't good enough, but I'm gonna get in there and try this. So this is the dashboard. And these on the left-hand side are all the tabs. Discover ideas, read clone. You can clone yourself. If Let's just jump into the faceless video feature because chances are, oh wait, go back. So they gave us some examples here. If we go to the dashboard, these are some of the examples. Let's look at the showcase videos. I'm interested to see these. Let's click play here and watch these. Click play. Every great journey begins with a single step. Even if it feels small, it could be the start of something. Okay, if I'm being honest with you, this feels a little bit slow to me because I publish so many reels every day across channels and this feels slow. What happens when a poor shepherd finds a golden heart? And I'll say, I'm a diva with content, so please bear with me. It says videos. They're selling this faceless video, but what they're actually doing is just creating images. But they could still be cool. Let's see. What happens when a poor shepherd finds a golden heart? Lost in an enchanted... I feel like the video transitions aren't moving fast enough. I feel like that feels like four seconds on which the screens, the next selections come in. Anyways, let's just deep dive into making them. Faceless videos, let's create a video and let's make my face smaller here. Creating faceless videos. We have the video vault, it's essentially probably B-roll that we can already add. All right, so next we get to choose the theme or the scene that we get to choose. We have action movie, animated cartoons, old camera. There's a bunch of them, it appears. Cyberpunk. So if I were to do a faceless video brand, I'm trying to think of what I would go into. What I wanna do is I wanna do something like dark and cinematic because I wanna do a motivation channel. Let's do English. English, subtitles. Let's do something, a light color. Okay, I hate all these subtitles. Let's do no subtitles. And I need like a captivating voice here. I heard that Syllabi uses 11 Labs voices, so they're probably pretty good. I'm Archie. If you're after a young, energetic, and authentic British- Ooh, young, I don't want. I want a male voice, and I want it to be like, sound real sturdy, right? Because it's motivation. I Get up and do something. Let's try Charlie. Love all, trust a few, do. He's Australian. God has given you one face and you make yourself an- Ooh, it's George, he's British. Okay, so now we need to create a script. I can use the AI script assistant. You can choose themes. I'm gonna do a custom script here and I'm gonna open chat TBT because I consider myself a boss when it comes to script writing, right? No, I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm gonna do speech to text with chat GPT, so please bear with me here. So put my mouse here, the script, and I'm gonna do voice to text here. I need you to create me a 30 second reel that's extremely captivating and emotional about motivation, period. This isn't for any of my personal brands or channels. This is a new channel on motivation, period. I need it to tug at the heartstrings, people struggling in the day, and the reel needs to be about getting through the day, period. All right, so let's see what it comes back with. And again, you should steal this. All right, I need this in paragraph form. I need in paragraph form. It's trying to do like the narration thing. It always does that, I love it. Even though I've told it 6,000 times not to. All right, so I know you're tired. I know today feels like an uphill battle. You woke up exhausted. Okay, this is perfect. So copy, paste it, go back to syllabi, paste it here. And we're gonna click generate video. All right, so, and it says, choose your next video topic. These are cool next videos. Why burnout might be your greatest teacher yet. These are good, right? Essentially, it's probably just using the API from ChatGPT and we'll see how it does. So I've tested a couple other videos and let's check out some of the other features here in Syllabi. So if we go to discover ideas here, what's really cool here is we can choose, like if you wanna do like YouTube and look at ideas, Instagram, Let's do YouTube. We can look up ideas on motivation on like what might be working. If you click on discover ideas, it's going to kind of give us some like cool ideas for creating videos. Motivation and psychology. That's 1.9 million search volume. There's a lot of stuff in that. Can motivation be learned and improved? And again, we can create videos upon this stuff. You can do faceless videos or an avatar video. This could be cool, especially Google Trends. Let's do Google Trends. My advice to you would be to, to push Google Trends if you're doing a faceless channel. 
like trend jumping is huge. So like utilizing it would be huge in your space. So pick a space, you could do politics. That's huge usually, but I'm going to move on past this because yeah. So then we have the real clone feature where we can craft our own voice. I already did this. You essentially talk into it and it gives you a clone. Okay. So a video editor, this is just your basic video editor. This is not very special to me. All the AI tools have these. There's no effects. There's no nothing. This is essentially just putting your videos in there, splitting them, and then adding B-roll when needed. We're just going to move on past that because I always tell people to learn editing on CapCut. You can open CapCut PC for, for free, guys. It's free. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to edit in like two, three minutes. Yesterday, I taught someone how to video edit it in two or three minutes. Okay, so the bulk scheduler, this is where we can create bulk videos. I highly suggest you don't do this. This is probably a cool feature. It's essentially the same as the, the video creator, except you're creating, you can create probably up to 10 videos and suck all your credits like crazy. The credit system goes fast. Just so you guys know, I have the base plan and I've already used a bunch. So let's check on the video here. It takes a minute for the videos to get done here. So click on my videos. Yes, it's done. So let's just jump right into it. Let's click play here. I know you're tired. I know today feels like an uphill battle. You woke up exhausted. Why is she naked? World pressing down before your feet even hit the floor. Maybe life hasn't been fair. Maybe you're carrying burdens no one else can see. Okay, so this is okay. I have a bit of a gripe here because like you're creating, the whole selling point is faceless videos, but these are images. Like it's probably using ChatGPT or OpenAI API to just create images, which it is what it's doing here. So if we get in the editor, What's cool is you can edit these videos, right? If I click edit image, I can add motion. That's kind of a cool effect. So if I click add motion, let's see how long that takes. So click that. We can edit this stuff and you can upload different media. You can do stock video instead, which is kind of cool. I, I like the idea of using AI. You can look at the asset library. Some of this stuff's probably pretty cool. Uh, that's essentially the editing. What I want to do here is I want to figure out how to edit it so that it switches. So it splits screens at less than four seconds. Because if you watch the video, it moves kind of slow. I wonder if it'll let us watch it. Tired. I know today feels like an uphill. See how that feels too slow? So that's three seconds. Let's see how long it is for. One. Tired. Two. I know today three, feels like an uphill. Four. Battle. You woke up exhausted. The weight of the world. See, it feels too long. Your feet. So if I can figure out how to move that, or like maybe the motion fixes it. What kind of sucks though is you have to pay 10 credits to add motion to every single one which it can add up credits like crazy. The video actually is pretty cool. And the voiceover is cool. I like that. I think it can move a little faster. I'm kind of interested to see what the motion's like. So while that works, let's go check out some of these other features here. The real clone of yourself seems kind of cool. I'm not going to pay for it just because I did a YouTube search on this. Like if I look up syllabi clone review, there's like no videos on this. I checked out this guy, Dom Bavaro's video, and he said that he wasn't happy with it. The AI just probably isn't there a little kind of yet. And there's not a lot of videos. I'm surprised Syllabi doesn't have like an example video, but maybe this is an extremely new feature. But for the price of it, you know, like a $500, I'm not going to pay that and have it be crappy. You know what I mean? Because I've seen these, the face front uh, AI videos and they're not that great. All right, so let's go back to my videos here. See if it's done. It's still adding motion. That's crazy. All right, so as far as publishing, we can just click on the publish feature here and you can create a social post and it pops up like this. I attached a social media. It's a Facebook account and you can upload your video here and then, or you can just click generate your content and you just go through and then you add like a title. Sorry, I'm moving around. I have a treadmill below me and I'm usually walking on it and I'm just like, I'm not for the sake of the video and I'm used to walking. You don't, you guys probably don't care. But okay, so my videos, that's all your videos. Your calendar feature is essentially another publishing tool. You just, you can, it allows you to schedule. Say if I want to schedule, it's literally the same prompt that does the same thing. Connect, you can connect your socials here. What's probably cool is you can connect like multiple social accounts. Then you can jump in the calendar and you can cross post like this gives you the ability to post once, but across maybe like four or five platforms. You could post once and go to TikTok, Instagram, Facebook Reels, and YouTube Shorts all at the same time, which is a cool feature. And guys, if you want to check out Syllabi, I will throw my affiliate link in the description because I do feel like this is a really cool tool. And I'm going to give you some secret sauce here because this gets us there with pretty decent videos. God, it's still doing the motion thing. Let's click and view it. I want to see what it looks like. It takes a minute to change the motion. I'm going to say that. And it's probably because it's using like a OpenAI API 
like using their system to create the motion. So while we do that, I'm gonna download this video quick and I wanna show you something really quick that's really gonna change the game for these videos. If I open CapCut, and I know, don't freak out, I know you automation people are like, I cannot video edit. But guys, I can teach you how to do cool, cool stuff in like a matter of like minutes. So just hang with me here. So if I import the video in CapCut, which by the way, CapCut's free. So like what excuses do you have? Zero. Get this on your computer. Don't do it on your phone. Learn a skill guys. Like this, it's whatever, I'm done ranting. So then carry the video down to the timeline. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some effects that change the game for this video. All right, so all I'm gonna do here is add some effects. So click the effects tab. And I'm going to add color flicker to the entire video. Watch this. One effect to the entire video. And then I'm going to click play. I know you're tired. I know today feels like an uphill battle. You woke up exhausted. See how this is a game changer? And then you could do color flicker for some of it. I could copy this and I could do color flicker right there. And then... Whenever it changes, I can do, and again, you can spend some more time in here, but this is literally like just a couple minutes of my time. Let's watch it now. I know you're tired. I know today feels like an uphill battle. You woke up exhausted, the weight of the world pressing down. That's just one effect. There's like a hundred different effects I could add. You could add tracking shots. Like if I did this and added a, a tracking shot here in between here, literally with effects, I can change the game. Watch this, color effect. I know you're tired. I know today feels like an uphill battle. You woke up exhausted. See, it's a different video. So like you can bring these videos from Syllabi into CapCut and next level them because I feel like these videos are missing something. First of all, they're not moving fast enough. When I watch this, I can tell that the video, it switches screens four seconds in. It needs to be like two seconds or three seconds. Tired. One, I know today two, feels like an three, battle. four. Yeah, it's four exhausted. seconds. But yeah, guys, if you're looking to create faceless videos, I feel like this is a good tool. It's probably the best tool for creating faceless videos. And I would say some of the other tools like in video, I'm going to do a review of comparison next. So if you're looking to check out that video, I'll throw a link in the description because a lot of people have been asking me for that video. And as far as the clone goes, I haven't reviewed it. So I don't think I have an opinion on it and I'm not going to shed that. Again, if you want to check out Syllabi AI, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. Let me know in the comments, like how you guys are feeling on this. We didn't check out the motion effect because it took forever. Let's view it on this one. I think I did the motion effect on this one. Yeah, I did. So this is this video here. Let's click play motion or we can watch this one. So I added motion to the second one. Brain. Like life keeps throwing more weight on your shoulders, and no matter how... So here's the motion. Today just feels impossible. It's barely anything. You are not weak. I feel like you're going to have better luck kind of like doing a zoom in like we did on CapCut. Because what happens here, like when I had a tracking shot, it makes it feel like the video is moving. And I feel like if the owner of Syllabi is watching this, if you could add just a simple effect to the videos, like a color flicker or like a, a tracking shot or like a zoom in as it twists. These are simple effects. And I feel like this tool would be next level. You know, I own a media company and I help companies run their socials. These reels need to move so fast. And especially when you're just giving us images to make a video out of images, like super cool is kind of tough and you need those effects to do it. All right, so this is kind of a side rant, guys. Check out the links in the description if you want to connect. All that stuff is down below. Affiliate links in there. And just keep grinding. Get on my treadmill. All right, later. Peace.